What's going on guys? Charlie Watson here with Beachmont Ford. Today we're here with Robin with Claremont Animal Care Humane Society. Yes, sir. And who is this? This is Doogie. And Doogie. And we're going to tell you a little bit about an event that we're having here at the dealership uh, this coming weekend on Saturday the 27th. We're kind of having a dual purpose event. We're going to do a dog adoption right here at the dealership. So we'll have dogs on site that are available for adoption and that need to be adopted. Uh, but not only that, we'll, we'll have the opportunity for you to bring your animals that you've already got to the dealership to be microchipped. And Robin is gonna, the first question I'm gonna ask her is, what exactly does that mean? Because I've, I've never done it and I don't know what it means. So microchipping is just a little device that they implant right under the skin and it's an identification. So if your dog were to get lost, um, we would just scan them and get that number and call and hopefully call you and reunite you with your animal. If they're not microchipped, that's a huge problem when animals come into the shelter or recently there was an animal that was lost, been kept by a car. It would have been great if we could have contacted the family if they would have been microchipped, but they were not. Yeah, and so one thing that we were talking about before we started that I thought was really cool is the difference in the law or the rule with a pet if if it's microchip versus not in terms of how long it goes until adoption. Right. Um, this, the law is to hold animals for three days to give owner's time to come to the shelter and relocate with their animal. But if they're microchip, the holding time is 10 days. So it gives us time to try and notify the owners. We know who the owner is, so we reach out and try and contact them. Where if they're not microchip, obviously we have no idea who the owner is, if they don't have on a tag or something like that. Okay, so there's two good reasons, obviously. Number one, if your animal's lost, your pet is lost, uh, it gives the shelter an opportunity to reach out and connect with you really quick and it gives you more time as the owner of the animal to come and clean the, the dog before it was put up for adoption. So that's right. really cool. So we'll be doing that here at the dealership. Again, the first 25 that come in, we are gonna do free of charge or it's gonna be covered by this promotional event. So if you have your animal that's never been done, bring it to the dealership. And if you're the first 25, it is free. And how much does it cost after? It's $25, which is very reasonable. Okay, so 20, and then I've heard of, just cause I was doing some research last <laughs> night, I've heard of that going up to like 80 or $90. So $25 regardless is still a promotional helping price just to try and uh, raise awareness and, and help the shelter. So one question we've had come in, is this for dogs only or can, can people bring their cats as dogs well? Dogs and cats are both microchipped. So yeah, cats are welcome as well. Awesome. So we're gonna have six dogs on site that are available for adoption, but throughout the shelter, right, how many dogs do you have available right now? We're close to being full right now, so that's about 65 dogs. Um, we're, we're, as of right now, we have six volunteers committed to bringing a dog on Saturday. Um, so that just leads to another topic of if we had more volunteers, we could bring more animals. You know, there's 65 there and we're gonna go in and pick six of them to bring on Saturday. Yeah. It'd be great if we had 10 more volunteers, you know. So we have some volunteer orientations um, that people can sign up for and then they could, they could volunteer for once a month to bring dogs to ad adoption events. And one of the important things is Statistics show that people visit the shelter once every eight years. You know, they just don't like to visit the shelter. They think it's depressing and sad. So, but the reality is we need to get the animals out into events like this and get them out in the community and have people stop by and then they see how they really are and fall in love and adopt them. And that's yeah. our ultimate goal. No, that's awesome. And then what about, so obviously we need people to go out and volunteer at their shelters, but what about funding? Like, how are you guys funded? Do you have state support? We do not. Um, the shelter is primarily, at least in Claremont County, um, per, supported by dog license sales. So we, our budget last year was $300,000, which we run animal control as well. So to care for, you know, up to 65 dogs at any given time, um, which we have maybe 20 in foster. So we really have about 85 in our care right now as far as dogs and a lot of cats. In the state of Ohio, cats are considered wildlife, so we get no funding for the cats. Wow. So we're volunteer only with our cat area. Well, that's with food and litter and vet care and, people cleaning the kennels and doing all of that it has to be volunteers only. Wow, so the moral of the story is we're gonna <laughs> guilt trip you. Uh, if, if you're an animal lover or you love animals, you need to get out and support your local shelters, especially if you live in Claremont County, because that's right where we are. Um, and then you also, we've gotta come together as a community and help fund that. But just to give a little recap on the event, uh, it is gonna be at the dealership from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're gonna be grilling out, we'll have hamburgers and hot dogs. Uh, we're going to have a local grooming uh, company is going to be on site doing like nail trimming and, awesome. and all that kind of stuff. And everything that we do on this day is going to be donated to the shelter. We're also on behalf of Beachmont Ford, we're going to make a donation to the shelter of $1,500 to help 
with uh, the different efforts that you guys are going through and, and the so different much. projects. So we're going to be doing that. Um, again, all of our efforts and everything we do on this day is going to be to help you guys and to help take care of all of our local animals. Thank so. you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So we'll see you guys this weekend, 11 a.m., 2 p.m. Come grill out with us. Have a great time. See some cute animals and maybe take one home. <laughs>